Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial by Shayna's Home DIY and Crafts. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to sublimate on a 20 ounce skinny tumbler. Here we go, we have a 20 ounce skinny tumbler. I'm using my lint roller. I am just making sure that there is no lint or any type of dust, debris, or anything on my tumbler because I do not want that to sublimate in the ink. If you do not know what sublimation is, it's a specific type of ink that sits in a specific type of material. Okay, so here we go. You must be wondering why does she have all these little pieces of paper guys here we go if you it's your first time here you don't know me you're about to find out who Shayna's home DIY and craft is I don't waste anything these are scrap paper that I kept and I cut it through Cricut design space for my images and that's why it's like this okay it's not a full piece of 8 by 5 by 11 sheet of paper I just use paper that I feel like I can reuse and you know I don't throw away anything anyway so here we go we have all our image we are about to tape them up and place them in different areas on the stumbler and that's all I'm doing I'm using using heat resistant tape to tape my images on my tumbler as I go along I will figure out where I want to put them and how it looks nice I'll just go with the flow All the items that I'm using in today's video will be in the description box below so if you're interested in knowing what are these and how do I use it please go ahead and check out my description box below it will be listed there thank you if it's your first time coming across the Shana's home DIY and craft YouTube channel and you like what you see here I trust you that you're gonna hit that subscribe button you're gonna do so by hitting that red subscribe button and once you do so we instantly become best friends yes we just did make sure you turn your post notification bell on this way you'll be notified every time I upload a video if it's not your first time here and you're a continuous supporter of the Shana's Home DIY and craft I want to say thank you so much and welcome back I truly appreciate you from the bottom of my heart again as I always say I couldn't have done it I couldn't have been this far without you guys continuous love and support so I really really appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to continuously show me your love and support guys you don't know how much it means to me but guess what it keeps me going I really appreciate you guys so so much So yes guys that's all I'm doing if you notice all I'm doing is taping these images and I'm rotating my tumbler to see where I want to place one where's one missing where this one will look nice and that's all I'm doing So once I'm done adding all my image to this tumbler, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be using the heat resistant tape and I'm going to be taping the tumbler, taping it up around. It's going to look like the mommy guys. Yep. It's going to look like the mommy. So this is what I do here. I have it all taped up. I'm not going to go through it all, but here we go. We are all taped up and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to be using my Cricut mug press to sublimate on this 20 ounce tumbler once I'm done with it. Now I'm using this painter's tape. I've never done this before, but I've seen it on TikTok. So this is like a little hack so I'm using this um, um painter tape to make sure everything is tight because once the heat hits this it's going to start um, moving things are going to start open up and I don't want my image to get like ghosting and all that stuff if you know ghosting is like a shadow in the background but here again I'm not using a full wrap so because I'm not using a full wrap a full wrap is when you use a full 8 by 5 by 11 sheet and then you literally wrap it around the tumbler one go so because I'm not using a full wrap I'm using this hack that I saw on TikTok with the painter tape okay Speaking of TikTok guys, let's get social. All the links to my social media page will be in the description box below. So please go ahead and follow me over on TikTok, follow me over on Instagram, and follow me over on Facebook. I have a lot more posts over there than I do on YouTube. Once I'm done wrapping my tumbler with my painter tape, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna press it again, like I said before, in my Cricut mug press. Now you're probably wondering, how does a 20 ounce tumbler fit in the Cricut mug? I thought we could only use it on mugs. Yes, all right, so what I'm gonna do, um, actually that part of the video is gone, it's missing. So what I did, I used a piece of cardboard. I used a piece of cardboard, guys, and I used that to help it to fit snug. So what I'm doing here, I'm doing a half of the mug first, not the mug, sorry, the tumbler. 
I'm doing a half a tumble. You see all those flashing light? It's gonna tell you when it's ready. After this few, the first um heat, whatever you call it, this first dose of heat, I'm gonna open it, I'm gonna rotate it, and I'm gonna start up. But after a few of these, the light stops showing because it's already hot at a temperature. So I just use my watch and I count it down to every 60 seconds. I open it and I rotate it. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. You rotate it every 60 seconds, rotate. That's all I'm doing. And I use a piece of cardboard to hold it smudge. Did I say that right? Yeah, there goes the cardboard. You see it right there. Then also use a piece of parchment paper on the bottom so I don't get the bottom of my tumbler scratch. Now, guys, you notice I'm using a pot holder if I can flip the, the tumbler because it's very hot and you don't want to get burned. And that's why I'm using a pot holder. Yes, I know it's not a pot, it's a tumbler, but hey, use a pot holder or use it with your bare hands. You won't have any hands leave. You're going to have a big burn in your hands. Or you could use some gloves. They have them up at the Dollar Tree, but I'm using what I have at home. I get lazy sometimes. My craft room is upstairs, kitchen is downstairs. So I use whatever is close by. Okay? So that's all I'm doing. 60 second rotate. Every 60 second I rotate it. And guys, let me tell you something. This thing doesn't smell good. Think about cardboard, paper, tape. This is burning. It doesn't smell good, okay? But anyway, that's all I'm doing. And, you know, once I'm done and I um, turn it and spin it and flip it and dip it and every type of dip, flip, flip, dip, 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 dip you know, I'm going to take it all out. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it to the side to cool down for a little bit. And once I get that cooled down, I'm going to go ahead and then the best part is going to be showing up soon. At this point, Shayna's ego is to the roof because I can't wait to see what's under all of these tapes. Yes, I know I put it there, but listen, when you first print stuff, it looks very dull and you really see the true color when it's printed. So here we go. I'm unwrapping the mommy and it's like, it's like, you know, like think about this guys. You just can't wait to see what's underneath it, even though you put it there and it's taking forever. If you could see closely there, you could start seeing the image showing through the heat resistant tape. And that tells you that, hey, we got something good under these tapes. We got something good under these tapes. Something, something good. I can't wait to see what it looks like. Tumblr is still a little warm, so I'm using my pot holder. You see those images? They're coming through. That, that way you know that, hey, it's on the tumbler. So here we go. You want to be very, very careful when peeling off your heat-resistant tape, especially that I'm using that little Cricut um, weeding tool because guess what? You don't want to smudge your tumbler. If you smudge it, then you're going to have to remake it. And we're not remaking anything because we don't waste anything at Shana's own DIY and crafts. Anyways, in case you come across that and your cup or your tumbler gets scratched, you could always repurpose it, okay? All right, so here we go. We're reeling it off and you can start seeing some of that image showing on the tumbler, guys. Stay tuned to see the final reveal of what this looks like, okay? And this is what my tumbler turns out to look like. This is the final result. I am loving the colors. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love how this turned out. So guys, if you want to go ahead and try this sublimation, don't feel like you can't do it because guess what? You can't know unless you try. And if you make it this far throughout this video, I am sure that you like what you see here. So please go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Click that notification bell. Also make sure you share this video with your friends and family. This way they won't miss out. Now guys, I want you to go ahead after finish watching this video and check out some of my other content because Shayna don't only do tumblers. We do a lot of stuff over here. That's why it's Shayna's home DIY and craft. 
so go on over and look at some of my other videos going to be popping up some are going to be description box below also guys share the video out it doesn't cost you anything share it with your friends and family this way they won't miss out you never know who may learn or who may not want to learn and become learning and all okay, you know you never know who wants to learn and who don't want to learn let them see share it to the world share the video i appreciate you guys so now with all that have been said i know i talk too much but i miss you guys so much if you again enjoy this video just do all the above that i've asked for you guys now remember you can do all things through christ to strengthen you until next time be blessed